I am here presenting Assembly Bill 242, which will require attorneys and judges to partake, partake in continual education on implicit bias every three years and court personnel every two years. Implicit bias is the unconscious and unintentional mental shortcut that human beings can develop, and it affects us all. It is often subtle associations we make between groups of people and stereotypes about those groups. We know that explicit bias persists, like racism, sexism, and other forms of bigotry. And as a result, clear anti-discrimination laws are in place to help check those. Most of us would like to be free of biases, attitudes, and stereotypes that lead us to judge people based on the social categories they belong to, such as race or gender or sexual orientation. However, it is important that we come to terms with the fact that everyone has their own unconscious and implicit biases, and those are equally impactful. Despite people's best intentions, researchers have found that subjects can consciously embrace ideas of fairness and equality, and yet on tests that measure subconscious tendencies, still show a strong propensity to lean on stereotypes to fill in the blanks about people they don't know. It is critical that attorneys, judges, and court personnel receive training on a routine basis to recognize their implicit biases and take steps to counteract their unconscious influences. When people enter into a courtroom or encounter the court system, they are hopeful for equal, equitable, and fair treatment. They are putting their lives, their families, and their futures on the line and in the trust of the court. And yet unconscious and implicit biases can and do affect the day-to-day decision-making processes of even the most aware court officers. Yet change can come through education, interaction, and conversation. In the State of Judiciary Address last month, Supreme Court Chief Justice Tani Kantil Saka'uwe recognized the importance and expressed support for implicit bias training for judges and unconscious bias training mandatory for all court administrative employees. I would like to build a culture that constantly and respectfully addresses bias to strengthen the trust between officers of the court and our communities. AB 242 seeks to amplify the Supreme Court Chief Justice's work on implicit bias and mandate that judges and attorneys must be trained every three years and court personnel every two years.